world right now, volunteering, and we have a really, really sweet cat. His name is Casper, so I'm going to show him to you guys. He's so adorable, and he is, he loves to be pet, but he does give some love bites. Like, he loved bit me about four times. But I know he's just so sweet and loving, so I'm going to show you guys he's like a main coon. He's so beautiful. Hi, beauty. That's so beautiful. I just got home from the cat shelter and I was like let me just go to Lidl really quick because I needed like a couple things that are like I cannot not be without such as toilet paper we are on our last roll and I cannot go without toilet paper um and also is there anything like worse than when you run out of garbage bags it is horrible because it's just so bad because you're I've like realized I'm like oh my gosh I'm like always throwing something away and when I don't have like when I'm on my last garbage bag I'm like oh shoot <laughs> so I got the flex strength 13 gallon these are actually kind of our garbage bag is supposed to be that much these were seven dollars and there's 40 bags in here I mean I guess that's not that bad but I was like aren't garbage bags supposed to be like $5.99 I don't know phone just fell over I had to prop it back up I don't have it like on an official tripod. I got more turkey breast. This is the mesquite smoked. And if you guys are wondering what is Lidl, it's basically like our grocery store that we just got here. They took over our older grocery stores that all shut down. And it's like, it's basically the competitor to Aldi. Favorite little buns. Um, these are pretzel buns. They are so, so good. They taste just like the restaurant. If you guys ever had like pretzel buns at a restaurant like for a burger so it's buy two get one free that's why i have three so tonight we're gonna do our favorite burgers i am so thirsty i did get like a couple water bottles too because i just don't like our water here and i do have a filter like filter uh pitcher and i still just don't like the way it tastes like it just doesn't taste good of these alkaline waters although i do prefer spring water just Keeping it real with you guys, I also heard that spring water is a lot better for you or like the best kind of water. Um, I got some yellow cheese. I am always at the grocery store, you guys. Like I go to like 50 different stores because I get different stuff at each store. Is anyone else like that? Like I can't just shop at Trader Joe's or just stop at Shop and, stop and Shop. I'm like, I have to go to all these different stores to get specific things. I got this plain Greek yogurt because I wanted to try to make like the faux sour cream. If you guys have seen that, it's like lemon salt and then this. And it's just like, I guess a little bit of a healthier protein packed alternative to sour cream. My favorite, I love these, the light, is it I get light? Yes, the creamy light laughing cow cheese wedges. These are only 30 calories per wedge. They are so delicious. I love those avocados for breakfast and also because we're gonna put these on the burgers. And the last thing I dropped, I got the organic grass-fed beef. This is the only type of beef I will buy, and it is so good. It's 90% lean, 10% fat. No, yes. <laughs> no added antibiotics, no added growth hormone, pasture-raised. So make sure you guys are getting this kind of beef if you are buying beef because it is so much better for you. So that is what I got. A quick little haul and i'm i feel like every vlog i like always have a grocery haul because like i said i'm always at the grocery store and yeah so i'm gonna make breakfast you guys because it's almost 1 p.m and i have not eaten yet and i need your girl needs to eat Yeah. <laughs> 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 
his head goes down is my favorite. My... <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Gizzy in the box. He's having so much fun. No, he's like laying down. So I am in the middle of cleaning out my pantry and reorganizing it. So you can see kind of how far I've gotten. I was doing this and I was like, oh no, I was like, I should vlog this. So I can share with you guys what I'm up to. I wish I would have showed you this part, but I was like so in the zone. So I'll show you right now where I'm at. So I did start, well, I kind of finished this shelf and I put my teas into this cute little container that I got at Dollar Tree. These red rose teas are my favorite. They don't fit in there perfectly. You can kind of see I had to like flex them a little bit and I can't fit too, too much in here, but it is a cute little like grab and go and I store my other ones up in my other cabinet. So this is kind of just so I can grab it. And then this is where I keep my baking powder and my vanilla extract. All this is kind of like a work in progress. I am not like this master guru organizer. I wish I was, I'm so jealous of those people. Um, but I don't have like all the organizers that I need to do that. Like I had to keep my baking cocoa in the container cause I don't have a container for that. However, this is my cacao powder from Trader Joe's that I'm absolutely in love with. And I use this every single day, like twice a day. I use this way more than baking powder. So I did have a container for this. I just had this like mason jar that I found. I have a lot of mason jars. And this is my cane sugar. And that is my brown sugar, which is kind of, I have to get new brown sugar. Else that I like don't use as much. So like this is my refill on my salt. The salt is amazing, you guys. It's Redmond's Real Salt. It is so yummy. And it's from this like rock. Where is it from? Like a rock in Utah or something? Yeah, it is the only sea salt harvested from the ancient deposit near Redmond, Utah. Unrefined ancient sea salt. Unlike any other salt on earth. You guys have to try this. I got this huge thing from Whole Foods so I could just refill my little salt shaker. So this, my organic cane sugar, my breadcrumbs, which I don't use this stuff that much, um, that's going to go on the top shelf. This like matcha powder, I have, have to use this more. I totally forgot I had it. And then I have this random container and I don't know what to put in here. So yeah, I, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm like trying my best here. I mean, my goal today was really just to like clean the shelves because they were really sticky like I have my honey here and I had to put it on a little paper towel because the bottom gets really sticky this is my nutritional yeast I have some more tea over here some of my bee pollen products some popcorn which I wonder if I should put that up top because I also don't use that too much my pitted dates are up there so we're making some sort of progress here I have super greasy hair right now because I did my oil treatment. Today is hair wash day. So I did my rosemary oil and ooh, the lighting is real bad right now. So I look absolutely insane. I'm so sorry for my appearance. Pardon. I did my gua sha comb. I think I've showed this to you guys before. I got this at Marshall's and I just use this to massage my scalp, get the blood circulating. It's good for hair growth. It's like a little scalp massage. And then today it is so gross out. It's like rainy and just like one of those like gross days. So all I have felt like doing today is cleaning. So that's literally all I've been doing. I cleaned the entire bottom of my clothes closet where my shoes are because that's the only place that we have carpet is in that closet. And I had to clean the entire thing with this like lint brush thing I got from Marshalls and it worked really well. You guys do not even want to know the amount of dirt and dust that I got up with that brush I literally could have made an animal it was so gross and now I've just been going through my closet getting rid of things that are really old or that I'm sick of and I'm going to donate those items I've been cleaning up some decor around the house that I don't want anymore 
gonna donate all that I've just been like literally decluttering I feel for like this past month so I'm going to show you guys some pieces that I'm decluttering from my closet just in case you're interested and want to see like what I'm getting rid of okay guys I'm sorry the lighting isn't that great I don't have like an overhead light in my room and it's like I said dark out so I'm decluttering this polka dot skirt honestly it's way too short on me um, polka dots are always like come and go in style this skirt I have literally had this skirt from forever 21 for look how short this is I want to say I've had this skirt for like 10 years because I just love the pattern but it's just again it's like too short I think it would be way too short on me okay this is funny I'm getting rid of these bow belts i used to wear these all the time like 12 years ago and i would wear them like here like with a dress or something and i feel like it's finally time i've graduated from the bow belt i still love bows but i'm not i have not worn this in literally like eight years so i'm gonna <laughs> declutter my bow belts i'm also gonna get rid of my fuchi aka my faux gucci belt i feel like the time of this has also passed it has come it has gone we're gonna get rid of her. Tie dye sweats from Five Below. They're honestly too tight. I feel like all the sweatpants from Five Below are always too tight. Um, this cardigan, I love this cardigan. I've had it for so long, but it's not that great quality and it's very, very fitted. It's cute though, because it has stars on it. So maybe someone else will enjoy that. I still love stars. This leopard t-shirt, gonna get rid of that. This cardigan from Old Navy, I just feel like it's drab and like really old. Getting rid of my chambray top. I feel like chambray, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's, is it always in style? I don't, I don't know. But I don't look good in these shirts. I look like manly when I wear those kinds of shirts. Some girls pull them off really well. I'm just like over this sweater. I don't think the colors are flattering on me. And then this still has a tag on it. It's like this little sleeveless vest I never wore. Yeah, I went through a phase, man, of like sleeveless vest was like my thing. This dress I've already worn it so many times, so I'm over it. It's from Amazon. It's really, really cute, but I've already like, I feel like I've played it out already. <laughs> so I'm going to donate it so someone else can enjoy it. So that is my uh, organization that I just did. I'm very happy because I made so much room in my closet. And yeah, this was fun to like show you guys kind of like what I'm getting rid of. Um, there was like other stuff too. I was like, should I get rid of this? I don't know. I kept like going back and forth. So I didn't get rid of like, I guess as much as I would have liked to because I still hold on to so much stuff. So like this is like the bare minimum, but I still feel like I did a pretty decent job of getting rid of stuff that I can donate, make room in my closet for new stuff. Or I have those sweaters that I showed you guys in my last video that I have to put away that I found like under the bed. <laughs> so yeah.